Today, we're making guacamole. Now, it was 2010 was the last time I made a video on how to make guacamole, a long time ago. And I've since changed my recipe just a little bit, although that original one, and I'll leave a link for it in the description, uh, was very good and I still make it sometimes that way. It just depends on my mood. This one, we're gonna be using some lime juice, which I didn't use in the other one, and some red onion and some another ingredient that I'll show you in just a bit. I'm also gonna give you three tips for the best tomatoes to use, how to remove the avocado seeds safely, and the best masher to use. So I've got a technique for you that I'm gonna be using, using the lime juice and the onion together, a little bit different than normal. My son brought this to my attention, and I'm gonna show it to you, and I think you're gonna love it. This guacamole is delicious, it's full of flavor, and it's healthy. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. How do robots eat guacamole? With computer chips. So the first thing we have to do in making some really good guacamole, and to try our new technique out here, is to take, I'm using red onion. Okay, and we're not gonna use too much. I'm only gonna be making two avocados worth today, but you can certainly double that, triple that, whatever you need to do. So I'm gonna take our red onion and peel it. And I like to go with the super fine dice. Now if you've seen my videos before, you know that I am the queen of the super fine dice. I think it makes the dish better because you don't get these big old giant chunks of onion in just a few spots, you, you get a little bit of onion everywhere. And we're gonna chop this up, and then we're gonna use what we think is appropriate. You wanna chop this nice and fine so it looks something like this. We'll place our onion into a bowl, and then we're gonna bring on the lime. Now I've got myself a nice lime here. We'll give it a nice roll. Kind of release some of those juices. Cut it in half and then we're going to place it in here and just squeeze that lime juice right over those onions. And we're gonna let this sit for probably 20 minutes. You wanna put enough in there to fully submerge the onion. So take a spoon and give that a nice stir to make sure everything's covered. Now what the lime juice is gonna do is to mellow out the flavor of the onion and just kinda like almost cook it. All right, here's chef joke number two. My friend called and said, hey, don't forget to bring all the ingredients to make some guacamole tonight. And I said, well, that's okay, you know, but the only problem is, is I don't avocado. While we're waiting for those onions to marinate in the, in the lime juice, we're gonna go ahead and cut up some other things. Jalapeno is one of the things we're gonna do. Now you gotta be really careful we don't touch our face when we're doing this because the little oils from this will really burn your eyes and just irritate your skin, so be really careful. So I'm gonna cut them in half, in half again, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna take out those seeds. If you like it really hot, you can leave that in. All of this stuff is where the heat is. I usually take all the, the seeds out. Now, an alternative to using jalapeno, let's say you don't like jalapeno, you don't want it in your guacamole, you could leave it out entirely. The other option is you could put in some hot sauce. I would put in something like, you could do sriracha sauce, you could add Frank's hot sauce, or any other, you know, if you have another favorite, you can add that. And just start small, put a little bit in, like, you know, maybe a, a teaspoon even, and then taste it and then just add more according to you know your taste buds. Then I like to cut these into strips. Nice and small, again, I'm the super fine dice queen. So I want a little bit of this, you know, in all of the guacamole, not just a few big, large chunks. And we'll just line them all up and chop away. Now that's pretty small, but I like to take it even further. So I run my knife through it again. And here we have the super fine dice. Okay, so let me wipe up my board here and then we're gonna start working on our tomatoes and talk about the avocados. 
I'm using two Haas avocados here and you want to make sure they're ripe where they give a little bit when you press on them. The next thing we're going to prep up is some tomato and the ratio to the avocados and the tomatoes is usually about two to one. Now that's going to vary because, well, we don't know what we're going to get when we open these avocados, right? Half of it could be spoiled, but anyway, you get the idea. And you can double or triple this recipe. I'm just going to cut this tomato in half, remove that stem area, and then we're just going to chop this up. Now the best tomatoes you can use for guacamole are homegrown tomatoes, and if you have them, you definitely want to use them. But in the event of, you know, whatever season you're in, Romas seem to work really well for me. They're, they don't have as much water in them as some of the others. Fine ripened tomatoes are also good as they seem to have a little bit more flavor and sweetness to them. Here's how fine you want to chop these. They're small, but they're not too small, and they're, of course, not too big either. Now we're ready to put this all together. So I'll place my tomatoes into a bowl, and we'll get into the avocado. It's always a gamble when you get avocados, right? I mean, you never know if it's going to be beautiful inside or it's going to be, you know, some brown spots that you have to take out. So let's just see what we got here. This looks absolutely beautiful. There's no black spots at all. And if you had them in there, you just want to take your spoon and scoop them out. But I got lucky. My second avocado is just as perfect. So here's the easiest and safest way to get the seed out of the avocado. Set it down on the board, then whack it with your knife, twist and turn, turn the blade away from you, and then squeeze the seed off. So go ahead and scoop the avocado into the bowl with the tomatoes. Look how good this looks right now, even before we add all the other ingredients. Okay, so now with the onions, I've got a slotted spoon here. And I'm only going to put in, I'm going to drain out the juice because I don't want that much. And I'm going to sprinkle in my onions. I'll get a little juice in there, that's fine. But I don't want to put all of the juice I put in there because that would just make this whole thing a big mushy mess. And it would be too much lime juice. Put in, you know, what you think. Same thing with the jalapeno. A couple of good tablespoons each should do it. Before we mash the guacamole, I want to talk to you about what type of masher to use. I think this is the best kind because it's got bigger open holes between, you know, like the grates and not the round one that's really small because this style is going to leave more chunks in your guacamole if you like that. It really works the best in my opinion. Now it's time to mash the guacamole just like you would the like button if you're enjoying this video. I haven't added the salt yet, but I just want to get an idea of if I need to add a few more ingredients or not, depending on how it all, you know, works out. Okay, let's get some salt in there, add a fair amount, and then mix it all together and give it a taste. As I expected, I need to add a little more salt, but I'd rather add too little than too much. The best way to eat guacamole is with a chip. You see those nice chunks of avocado and just the right amount of tomato, onion, and jalapeno. Mm -mm. Mmm. Marinating the onion in the lime juice is the perfect way to go. It's not too much lime and it mellows out the onion. So to go along with your guacamole as an appetizer, you might want to try my burrito pie casserole to go with it. You're going to love this. Click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to the video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by smashing the like button, all right? Leave me a comment and, you know, let me know what you think. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another rockin' recipe.